our stuff is more strength training for your mind. Strength training for your mind. So it's not doing exercise when we're saying physical exercises, but mindset exercises. So anytime we do works, we do um, team talks. It's not really a talk, it's a workshop with the team. Because they're doing exercises, they're going through worksheets. It's not just it's not just talk about it. Okay, if you look at the learning pyramid, I don't know if any of you have seen the learning pyramid as coaches, you want to be prepared for those kind of things. How do your athletes retain what they learn? Okay, so if you just listen to what I say, studies show auditory learning is only about 5% retention rate. So you almost better off not even being here if you're just going to listen to what I say. <laughs> Unfortunately, no matter how compelling of a speaker I may be, it really doesn't make much of a difference. If you're just listening to me, it's about 5% retention. So if you guys are just sitting in class and all you're doing is listening, you know, you're at the bottom of the pyramid. Okay, now if I show some pictures here, some audio visual, do some things like that, now your percentages go up to 25%. Big deal, we're still in the toilet, right? So what we're more interested in is, is active learning. Active learning, which is at the top of the pyramid. So 75% of learning is doing practice, and 90% is through teaching others. So that's what we spend our time doing. Our athletes are doing physical practice with their mindset, putting the pen to paper, training their mind through the worksheets, and they're going to be also, they're also required to teach other people about these concepts they learn. So this way, they're more at the top of the pyramid. They're going to retain the things that they learn. Okay, so that's the big thing. The big difference between us and sports psychology, you're going to actually be training your mindset. We're not just going to talk about it. When we do a team discussion, it's never just a talk. It's always physical mindset training. And when you think about it, that makes sense. Most wrestlers, they're not overly philosophical or abstract people, right? It's a hands-on sport. So, right? You think some of your wrestlers? <laughs> Myself included. We're, we're not overly abstract, you know, philosophical people. That's why we wrestle. We're hands-on people. So if you just talk about something to a wrestler, it's in one ear, out the other. Right? You would never just show your wrestler's technique and then everyone leaves. What do they have to do? They have to practice the movement, right? You don't just talk about strength training, your squats, your bench presses. You guys just think about training or you actually train? Do the exercises, right? So it's the same thing with your mindset. And unfortunately, a lot of coaches don't really know how to train your mind. We know how to train the body, but we need to train the mind also. So that's what we do. That's all we're dedicated to. That's training your mind. The, the physical exercises, activities, and challenges. Okay, so the topic today, and I want, I want questions here, so think about what I'm talking about, and at any time jump in, because I don't really don't like the school setting as much. I'd rather more 